From our Stars and Dog segment, it's time for this week's Dog. The dog this week is Canada Goose Holdings, Inc., symbols G-O-O-S on the TSX. Uh, current price around $45, $47. Market cap of $2.7, $2.8 billion. The company had a sharp drop uh, this week. From It was down just at the market open about 22% at one point and ended the day one day this week down 31%. What does the company do? Of course, uh, Canada is Goose is a Canadian-based company which designs, manufactures, distributes retail premium outerwear for men, women, and children. Now, what is driving this the downward movement in the stock? The company released its fiscal 2019 results this week. This quarter or this past year, revenue was up 40 percent to 830 million. Net income was up 49 percent to 143 million. Uh, and a diluted basis per share, the company made a dollar twenty-eight, up from eighty-six cents. That's forty-nine percent growth. So tremendously strong growth there. Uh, its annual revenue growth rate for fiscal twenty twenty, the year it's in right now, uh, it expects annual revenue growth of at least twenty percent, adjusted EBITDA margin expansion of forty basis points, and annual growth in adjusted net income of at least twenty-five percent. So those are great growth numbers. But it may be the lack of specifics here or color that we see in those numbers. Companies in Canada Goose position can be susceptible to slight misses in investor expectations, which can lead to significant drops in their share price. Canada Goose appears to, appears to be a great company with consistent, strong growth and a very uh, solid balance sheet and a solid outlook going forward. It just wasn't strong enough to hold up against the unrealistic expectations potentially near term in a very volatile industry. This makes the company our dog of the week.